Hey guys, Hin here, and today we are back with the Redstone tutorial. So today we have one of the most compact, non-seamless lamp doors. So let's see what it looks like. So you press lever, it will close really fast, and then again when you press lever, it will open up again fast. You can see it's too wide, uh, seven long, and I think about. Now let me check. Two, four, six, eight. 10 higher, which is one higher than a normal 3x3 door. So that is good for size. So you can see it's too wide, which is a great size for this kind of door. And you can also see the double extender working as well, which is also pretty cool. So enough with the talking, let's get down with the tutorial. So here we go. Okay, so what we do is first we build up two pistons like that. You're then going to build a diagonal using three blocks, like this. We place a redstone dust there, a torch there and there. We place a piston here and a piston here. We're going to place blocks like this. And then that, this block right here is going to be a redstone lamp, we will do that later. So we do place a block there and one up. Repeat it there on four. Piston facing that way, block there. And then two blocks, one up there, one up there and one up there. Three redstone dust. And then repeat it here on 2, and then place a block by here, repeat it on full. And then we are going to get a dropper and a hopper, Oops. like this. And then we're going to place a hop dropper underneath that redstone torch and then a dropper going into there. And then we're going to place a block there, with a redstone dust there. And then we place a block up, block down, we place a comparator facing into that block. This will redirect this redstone, so let's give it a shot if we get a lever there, when we press it, you'll see it extends. Oh, forgot, we need to put an item into there. Let me just put that there, there we go. So, let's give it a shot, so there we go. So what we do next, we place three pistons up on this side, and, oops, three pistons up on this side, the blocks, and then one by there, facing down, and then block. So what we do is we place a torch here, place it back again, blocks like this. So this one needs to be a half slab. Set. There, there we go. Just set time there. So then we place a block up there, we place another upside down half slab there, and then going into there, and block up. We place a Peter on two there, redstone there and there. Block up, we have a piston facing there and there, redstone block there, we place a block by there, we then place a block here, here, here and here, and one up there, a piece of facing there, and then one, two, three redstone there. So what we do next, we place a torch by here, and then we're going to get another dropper and another hopper, place it there, and then a hopper going into that dropper. And then we place a block in that dropper, and then a block by here, and a comparator going into there. And I think that is the whole door done. So let me go around the back, replace this with a redstone lamp, place a block here, so you can use that as an input. I'm also going to talk about inputs in this as well, so let's just do this. So we press it, and you see it will all retract in. So let me just fill up the rest of this now, make it, make it look lovely. So, with the inputs, there can be three places in which you can add an input. So the first, obviously, is around the back. So you can have redstone going into there, but it needs to be inverted with a torch. Then you can have redstone going into there, and grab that block. If you can have it going into there, it will power, and then there. That's the weak input. Also, a weak input is just a single line going into a block and it will power some activate it like let's say a torch so that's a weak input and a strong input is going to be this that is a strong input i don't know how to explain that one i'm bad at explaining so anyway let me just move that for this we need a strong input by here because we do not want that line there, it needs to power that block and that block as well. It just basically cuts off into one bit, so if you have this, 
when you power it there you'll be able to power you'll be able to power this this and this and this and you'll be able to add power through there and all that you should know that so and then the final one is another weak input we place one there block there torch and then input going wherever into there and also the input for that is there so place block there and that will activate it and deactivate it oh why did it do that silly redstone there we go so those are all the inputs but if you just want it as a display you can just put a lever right by there so there we go so that is the door complete so i thank you so much for watching this video also one thing to add later today at about 7 7 uh, p.m. Uh, British time. There is going to be a Machinimathon live stream by my friend Joshua Mata, and all. It's basically a Minecraft live stream charity event for Charity Water, which gives um, water to less developing, less developed countries, with lesser, well, lesser privilege to ours, and it gives them water, clean food clean, safe drinking water to have. It's all for that charity, Water Ray. So I'll put a link in the description to a video by Joshua Matter himself saying what it's about, what will happen, and also a link to the channel, Twitch channel itself. All the information for that is in that video, so if you want to go see that, I suggest you go check it out. It's only for today, Friday and Saturday as well. So I I'm going to be on there as well, you might see me in the background somewhere. So anyway, hope to see, I um, hope you guys will go support that, it's for a good cause. And I thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time. See you guys.